You see, many of these corporations in Western countries really consider Africa as their backyard, that natural resources of Africa are their preserve. No one else should have direct access to them ex except through the corporations of the West. And that, that is what I'm saying. The present paradigm is an economic and institutional infrastructure which is unsustainable. No serious African country can ascribe to this structure with honor and dignity. No, there must be change. Oh, the country will survive. I think it will, it will make the government and the people work harder, rethink their development strategy, and pace um, the targets much more, much more uh, realistically than they are doing now who, having received a lecture from some of our leaders about our needs and so on, over lunch, whispered to one of our officials and said, the trouble with you people and you'll never develop is because it's not that you don't plan well, except that you plan on other people's money. You plan on other people's money. You can't develop that way. Another lesson for me. Minerals, just as the Western countries want our minerals. They want the oil. It can't be preserved for BP, Shell, and Chevron. No. What? It's a product. And you believe in open markets? They help the, you know, they can come invest in, invest in us. <laughs> you are investing in them. Why do you want them not to invest in us? <laughs> I don't believe that God created the, the Netherlands nation so that it could develop the Tanzanian nation. <laughs> You get ambassadors that come not to, not to promote real relations between countries, but to lecture us on how we should evolve politically, economically. Do this, do this, do this. A complete reversal of the Geneva Convention about diplomatic representation. The American ambassador in Kenya these days, every other day, tells Kibaki what to do. Hey, tutorship, huh? Tutorship because of the dependence syndrome. Oh, the country will survive. I think it will, it will make the government and the people work harder, rethink their development strategy, and pace um, the targets much more, much more uh, realistically than they are doing now. When I was in office, I used to, to tell my my colleagues in groups or in cabinet, I say, look, whatever our differences with Americans, I said, I went there for a postgraduate course, and there was an advertisement at that time, it was 1962 63, by a loan association or a loan bank, actually. But it, it is now merged with another one. But the head advertisement said, we at this bank, what was the, the bank now? We, we, we make our money the old-fashioned way. We earn it. I like that very much. We make our money the old-fashioned way. We earn it.